Imagine customizing your phone's quick panel so freely that you almost forget you're using an operating system. That's exactly where Samsung is taking us with One UI 8.5. This update isn't just a small patch, it's a complete evolution that redefines how Samsung users interact with their Galaxy devices. In this video, I'm going to walk you through everything that's new, everything that's exciting, and a few hidden details you probably didn't even know existed. By the end, you'll see why this is the biggest One UI update in years. Before watching, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can get notified on daily tech updates. One UI 8.5 arrives with a redesign of the quick panel that truly puts the power in your hands. You're no longer stuck with the default layout or locked sliders. Now you can add, remove, resize, or rearrange every single module exactly the way you want. Want the brightness slider vertical instead of horizontal? You can flip it. Prefer the volume slider on top of your Wii, Phi toggle. That's possible too. You can even leave blank spaces in the layout just for a cleaner aesthetic. The animations are smoother than ever, making it feel like the interface is responding to your touch in real time, almost as if you're sculpting the panel as you use it. It's a freedom we've never seen from Samsung before, and it puts customization at the heart of the experience. Notifications also got a dramatic refresh. Instead of vanishing instantly when you swipe them away, they now pull back with a magnetic, elastic animation that comes with subtle haptic feedback, making the whole gesture feel tactile and satisfying. Add to that the new frosted glass blur background applied to notification cards, and you'll immediately notice how much cleaner and more readable it looks compared to the glossy, liquid blur style Apple uses on iOS. It feels premium without sacrificing usability. Small tweaks like these go a long way toward making everyday interactions feel polish. Visuals across the system have been elevated with gradient fade effects that appear in multiple places, from settings to gallery to other core apps. It's a subtle detail, but it ties the entire UI together in a way that feels deliberate and cohesive. Speaking of gallery, Samsung has added some smart functionality there as well. Instead of just seeing text names for your albums, you now get live previews of the most recent photo or video inside each folder. The private album has been rebuilt directly into the app and is now fingerprint protected, making it both secure and accessible. And the floating pill, shaped menus in gallery not only look modern but also make navigating through images and albums faster than ever. Another thoughtful addition is adaptive wallpaper expansion. If you've ever set a lock screen wallpaper only to find the clock cutting right through the subject of your photo, Samsung has solved it. One UI 8.5 automatically fills in the empty space around stretch wallpapers, so the image blends seamlessly. It's the kind of upgrade that may not seem revolutionary, but once you've used it, you'll wonder why it wasn't always there. This is the philosophy running through the whole update, thoughtful refinements that make the phone feel smarter and more personal. For creators and camera enthusiasts, the Pro Video Mode now allows you to hide almost every control, giving you an uncluttered full-screen viewfinder. But the real surprise is Samsung's introduction of LTs for log video recording. With five options ranging from standard to blockbuster, coming of age, romance, and thriller, you can instantly give your footage a cinematic look with one tap. This is like bringing professional-grade color grading directly into the camera app. Combined with Samsung's already strong camera hardware, this makes One UI 8.5 one of the most creator-friendly updates yet. Widgets also got smarter. The weather widget can now display live changes right inside itself, showing rain effects as they happen, while also reintroducing pollen tracking for people with allergies. Battery indicators were redesigned too. You now have the option to remove the pill, shaped icon entirely and just display percentage text in the status bar, or you can keep the pill if you prefer. In power saving mode, the icon switches to a subtle leaf symbol, a small but clever detail. If you choose text, only mode and plug in your charger, the pill temporarily reappears while charging, then disappears again once full, adding a playful little touch to the charging experience. Samsung has also fully integrated predictive back into the system. Instead of being an experimental labs feature, it's now official and gives you a clear preview of the page you're heading back to before you complete the gesture. In the settings app, the design has been compacted and cleaned up. Subtitles on the main page are gone. The search bar has been lowered for easier thumb access, and the back button now floats at the top and dynamically snaps back when you scroll to the top. These tweaks make navigation much smoother, especially on tall devices like the S25 Ultra. Samsung DeX and Device Care both received facelifts as well. Device Care now uses wider progress bars and shows percentages clearly, while the smiling face icon that used to represent device health has been replaced with simple, more professional text. Storage management has been redesigned with gradient progress bars, and My Files has been given a refreshed look with rounded icons and bright yellow folders. Even Quick Share has been modernized, now adopting a pixel like design with a gradient background and pill, shaped send and receive buttons. The editing tools in the gallery are where AI really shines. Samsung introduced new generative features like Suggest Erase, which automatically highlights objects you might want to remove from photos, Add More, which lets you sketch on an image and have AI fill it realistically, and Restyle, 
which can transform your picture into styles like a digital studio portrait or even a 3D cartoon. These features push Samsung's editing suit closer to professional software without the need for third-party apps. The Dialer app has joined the system, wide redesign as well, adopting the floating pill, shape navigation bar and introducing an AI-powered search function. You can now type natural language queries like, who did I call last weekend? And get the answer instantly. Direct voicemail support has also been integrated into the phone app, which is huge for regions that never had it built in before. Modes and routines have become more powerful, now working with both Bixby and Google's Gemini AI. That means your phone can trigger automated AI queries based on your location, habits, or routines. Imagine coming home and your phone not only unlocking your smart lights, but also summarizing your notifications or even starting your evening playlist automatically. Even the software update page has been reworked. The current One UI version is displayed front and center, while the Check for Updates button has been moved to the bottom to make the interface cleaner. These are the kinds of refinements that make the phone feel modern, even when you're performing routine maintenance tasks. And then there are the features we haven't seen yet but know are coming soon. Samsung is preparing AI-powered notification summaries, which will group dozens of alerts into neat digests, much like iOS does. Automatic call screening is also on the way, letting Bixby or Gemini handle spam calls without you lifting a finger. These features may roll out later, but the groundwork is already here in One UI 8.5. Now, this version I tested is still an internal alpha build, so yes, there are bugs and rough edges. But even at this early stage, One UI 8.5 feels polished, cohesive, and incredibly promising. The animations are smoother, the design is more refined, and the features are smarter than ever. Samsung clearly listened to its users this time, and the result is a software experience that feels premium and personal. So what's your favorite new feature? Let me know in the comments because I'll be digging deeper into the most requested ones in future videos. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, make sure to subscribe to Tech Insights and hit the bell icon so you never miss a daily update. This is just the beginning of what Samsung has planned, and trust me, you'll want to stay tuned.